Recent details suggest Liam Payne's tragic death may not have been a suicide, as initially reported. Allegedly, two s workers were involved, and Payne was found unconscious before the fatal fall. Reports hint at a confrontation, with Payne allegedly paying one of them $20,000 shortly before his death. This new angle raises questions about possible foul play, challenging the previous assumption of suicide. Could these interactions point to something more sinister in his untimely passing? On October 16, 2024, Liam Payne's life came to a tragic end when he fell from the third floor balcony of his hotel. The former One Direction star, aged just 31, was found unconscious after the fall, with fatal injuries that included a skull fracture. Emergency responders arrived quickly, but Payne was pronounced dead at the scene. According to police reports, Liam was unconscious when he fell, raising questions about the moments leading up to his death. Witnesses from the hotel recalled hearing a loud thud before discovering his body in the courtyard below. The fall has been confirmed as the direct cause of his death, but many are left wondering, how did it come to this? A memorial for singer Liam Payne is taking place in Hyde Park in London this afternoon, organised by One Direction fans. The 31-year-old was found dead in Argentina on Wednesday afternoon after falling from the balcony of his third-floor hotel room. And these pictures live into us, as you can see, hundreds, if not possibly thousands of people gathering to pay tribute. Our correspondent, Alice Porter, is there for us. Alice. Devastating video showing Liam Payne comparing tattoos and talking with his fans outside his hotel just days before his tragic death. The One Direction star died after falling from the third floor of his hotel yesterday, leaving his fans in shock. Liam took time to make his fans' dream come true earlier in the week by posing for pictures, signing autographs and listening to their stories. One fan credited Liam with saving my life and grew emotional meeting his hero. It prompted Liam to give the man a hug before they compared matching arrow tattoos on their arm. In another clip, Liam sang in Spanish to a female fan after she asked him if he'd be listening to any of the locals' music. There was also a montage of the smiling pop star meeting and greeting supporters, some of whom mirrored his smile while others broke down in tears. A 911 call was made by a frantic hotel manager requesting urgent assistance before Liam died. He was staying at the Hotel Casa Sur in the neighbourhood of Palermo, where crowds of fans flocked to pay their respects as the news of the singer's death spread. <laughs> What you see here is one of the last videos posted by Liam Payne right before he tragically died at the age of 31. Good morning, everybody. Here's a little video of me. It's rude to put hats on the table. Sorry. Is it your hat? Yeah. Children. So a lovely day here in Argentina. This is the breakfast table. I'm just eating an orange. Just enjoying coffee and breakfast, even though it's like 1 p.m. Literally, we sleep in every day until at least 12. We're such losers. <laughs> no. No. Liam Payne's cause of death has been revealed. An early autopsy saying among Liam's 25 injuries, his severe head trauma alone was enough to kill the 31-year-old singer, who plummeted three stories from his hotel balcony on Wednesday in Buenos Aires. We need to send someone to the urgent because, well, I don't know if it's going to be the risk of the life of the hotel. We need to be in a habitation que tiene balcón y bueno, estamos un poco con temor de que haga algo. Paramedics pronounce Liam dead at the scene. It's unknown if he was with anyone before his 45 foot fall, which police also haven't confirmed to be intentional or accidental. But we know investigators are not leaning towards foul play. And the 911 call from Liam's hotel hinted at a chaotic scene just minutes before he died. ¿Qué sucede en el lugar, señor? So we're learning new details about Liam Payne's final moments before the former One Direction singer plunged from a hotel balcony in Buenos Aires and died Wednesday. Prosecutors say evidence suggests the singer was going through a substance abuse episode and may have been semi or totally unconscious when he fell from a third floor hotel balcony. 
Inside his hotel room, police said it was, quote, total disorder with destroyed objects and furniture, along with anti-anxiety medication, narcotics, and alcohol. An autopsy determined the star died of multiple traumas and internal bleeding as a result of the fall. This morning, shock and sorrow as fans around the world mourn the death of former One Direction member Liam Payne. The 31-year-old pop star falling roughly 40 feet from his third-floor hotel room in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Medics pronouncing him dead at the scene. Overnight, crowds gathering outside the hotel, singing his songs in mourning. We can live forever. I, I can't explain how I'm feeling right now. I'm shaking. As questions swirl over the circumstances of his death. With reports saying Payne had been acting aggressively and erratically in the hotel's lobby moments before the tragedy. Audio obtained by the Associated Press revealing this 911 call before his death by the hotel manager speaking in Spanish. The manager then saying he was scared for the guest's life. Morning, everybody. Payne had been in Argentina since early October when he attended a concert of former One Direction bandmate Niall Horan, sharing this photo of the two. In Snapchat photos and videos posted in the hours before his fall, he wondered about dressing as Forrest Gump for Halloween. He also shared this final photo with girlfriend Kate Cassidy. The photo was actually taken a year earlier. Cassidy was with Payne on the trip, but had returned to the United States a few days earlier. Payne leaves behind one seven-year-old son, Bear. And that image just haunting of him looking up at the billboard of his father. Now, authorities in Argentina are investigating the circumstances of his death and conducting an autopsy. This tragedy is prompting a tidal wave of grief and along it, with it a lot of soul-searching questions. We are just confirming with police in Buenos Aires that Liam Payne has died at the age of 31. Police say in a statement that he fell from the third floor in a hotel tell. I want to read you part of the statement that we have obtained from police in Argentina, Jake. They say in the afternoon that police personnel were directed to the hotel after a 911 call where they were informed about a, quote, aggressive man who could be under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Those are all the details that we have now. Obviously, uh, this coming as a huge shock. This is not somebody who was sick or who there were any concerns that uh, that fans were aware of, uh, as you hear from the police statement and from these limited details that we have, uh, this obviously sounds like a horror that he fell from the third floor in a hotel uh, when they found him. As you said, Jake, millions of fans are going to be devastated about this news. Liam Payne was one of the members of One Direction, which was founded after the boy banders met on the reality show The X Factor and went on to be one of the most successful boy bands of all time. Liam Payne, along with Harry Styles, is, you know, of course, a name that everybody knows. And this band has been broken up uh, for quite a few years, but his millions and millions of fans around the world have remained.